Hey guys, it's Christy with Anchor Life 5. Thanks for stopping by. I am going to do my um, a tutorial today, for one of my first tutorials that I've done. I've had a lot of people ask me to do some tutorials on um, how I make my TNs, and so I thought I would bite the bullet and go ahead and give it a try. Um, I have some things already prepared, and I plan on doing this in a series format. Um, so there will be several videos to follow this one um, in the next day or two um, to see the whole process of it. But what I'm going to start out with is this beautiful um, paper kit. And it is by Photoplay. Um, and it is called Rap City by Tracy Smith. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I love um, the different sheets of paper here um, and it comes with these stickers um, and it also comes with some cut aparts and it is just absolutely gorgeous and I can't remember where I got it from um, it's either gonna be Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning I'm not quite sure um, actually I think it was Hobby Lobby so um, this is the the pack that I'm using okay what I went ahead and I um, what I started to do was I got these three pack of notebooks from um, Dollar Tree and they are four by sixes and what I did was I I took off the um, the covers I took off the covers of them and um, so they look like this and I took my corner rounder and I rounded all of the corners um, that's just a personal preference for me. I like it better. Um, and then I I took some of the paper, and I like this paper pad because it's double-sided, and um, I just cut a folder or a cover to go over it, and I'm not going to attach it. So this way, um, you know, people can turn them. Since it is double-sided, they can turn them inside out or if they want to exchange and make different ones or whatever um, this is something new that I just started doing with not attaching them um, and it seems to be working pretty well so I took the paper and I rounded the corners there too and now I have my um, three inserts which oh, sorry, which used to look like this and now they look like this so what I do is probably a little different than other people. I'm really not that big into, into measuring. <laughs> um, so what I like to do is I take my paper and I take my inserts and um, here we'll show you on this one. And I just kind of put it on the edge like in the corner, sort of like this, give a little bit of room, and then I fold it over, and then I just kind of eyeball it, you know, and I'll make a little mark up here, um, and then make a little mark on the folded part about where I need it um, to go. So each one I do is not precise, and I know some people really like theirs precise. I this is just the way I do it and it's easy for me um, so this one actually ended up being uh, uh, wrong side guys yeah first tutorial here we go um, about nine and three-fourths by six and a half so um, I laminated it and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do um, all my edges curved and before I laminated it I went ahead and I used my scoreboard and I went ahead and I scored it I scored it in the middle um, and then I scored it um, I counted over three little notches um, because you know these aren't that wide but I do plan on making um, lots of other things to go inside of it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Hold it just a little bit on the first and the last one. You can see like that. And so here's my cover. 
and I'm gonna take my inserts and I'm gonna put them in just to kind of make sure that you know everything still looks good and I've got plenty of room and you can see that I have plenty of room to grow in this one there we go <clears throat> and so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, thread my elastic through it. Um, what I'm using for my elastic is, um, I got this from Hobby Lobby, and um, this was actually, I think, in like the kids section. And this is old, but I really like this blue color right here. Um, I thought that it matched really well um, with the paper pad. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to make my middle hole, which this I kind of do have to measure, but it's six and a half, which is going to be three and a fourth, which is right here. And um, I'm just going to make a little mark. Actually, we're going to do it on this side. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to six and a fourth, and we're going to go to the middle one, um, if you can see right here because this is going to be where we join um, around. So just make a mark right there where I can see. I broke my pencil. And then I'm gonna go over here on the first one and I'm gonna go down a fourth and make a little mark. And then on this side, I'm gonna go down a fourth and make a mark. And also in the middle one, a fourth. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing. Go to the edge of your paper and make a mark on the fourth. And this is where you're going to punch your holes. And a fourth right here. And then one in the middle. All right. This is the hole punch that I like to use. Um, I think I did get this from Hobby Lobby, and it is um, it is a tiny, I don't know if you can see that, sorry, it's blurred, a tiny, tiny punch. Um, so I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna punch the first line, the second one, and the third. There we go, and on this side, just do the same thing. If I can find my marks, there they are. Okay, what I do for the middle is I do not have a punch that is long enough to reach the middle. So I have um, this little tool. Um, some people call it an awl. Um, this was my husband's and I kind of stole it from him. So what I do is I find my my middle right here where I made my line and I just punch it through and there we go. There we go and then just kind of push these kind of back inside. You can even punch it through again. All right and then we are going to take our elastic and you know, and you can use whatever color you like, whatever brand you like. Um, I guess I can't find the beginning, so there we go. And I don't measure my elastic to begin with. I just I wing it and then I um, re-thread it as I need to. And I just made a big mess with that. Yeah, like I said, guys, first tutorial. Be patient with me here. All right. So I'm just going to cut a long enough piece here just because I took it off the spool and I shouldn't have. Okay. Sometimes your elastic will fit straight through the holes depending on the size of your elastic. Um, if it doesn't, then I just take a sewing needle and um, thread it through that way. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your elastic and you are gonna start on the right side on um, the first one 
and you're gonna go, this is my front cover, so I'm gonna go in through my first hole on my front cover. You can watch it, not there we go. And we're gonna pull it through. Okay, you're gonna wanna leave a little bit hanging out right here. So make sure you have a little bit hanging out. Okay. Now we're gonna go up here. I'm still on my front cover and I'm gonna go through this first hole. And so on the back, there we have our first strand. All right. And now we're gonna go from this one to the middle, straight through. There we go. And then we're gonna go down and come up through the middle hole here. And this is gonna make our second band, like that. All right, from the front, we're gonna go back through through the last hole and then back up through this last hole all right there we go, now we have our three strands. Now we're gonna make our fourth. So we have one, two, three. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna go back through this middle one. So kind of push it over a little bit so you can see your hole. And this might be sometimes where you need um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this where you need your needle. And I try to find the ones with the biggest eyes. Um, and so that way it's just easy to, to go through. All right. So now I'm going to go straight back through the middle right there. There we go, so you can see it right here. And then unthread my elastic, and I'm gonna thread this one. Maybe. cut off a little piece here to make it smoother. Come on, there we go. And we're gonna go back through the middle right here. All right, there we go. And then on this side, what I like to do is I like to make mine even, and this actually worked out really well, um, and tie in the middle. So some people like these really, really taut, tight, and some people like them loose. I don't like mine super tight because it will um, end up bowing your uh, paper, um, but I don't like mine super loose either. So I just like mine to where they're kind of laying flat. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. And I'm going to tie it to where it kind of meets in the middle. And this one is going to give us our fourth band. I always tie it in a double knot. And then we're going to cut this off right here. There we go, and now you have your four bands. You have one, and then there's two in the middle, 
and then your other one. So you have four bands. Now for the middle one right here, um, I usually always use my needle for this one. Um, like I said, just me, personal preference. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread both sides of my band. Sorry for that noise in the background. That is my laminating machine. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to attempt to do this. Alright, there we go. Now, from the front, poke your needle through, move over your elastics, and pull it through until these sides pop out. Okay? What I do is I pull until I get to where I have some poking out right here on the side. I don't like mine, like I said, super, super tight because I want to be able to fill this and still have some room. So it's poking out just a little bit, which is perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie a double knot. There we go. And then I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to close it. And there we have our band. So that's how that one goes. And we can go ahead and I will um, show you how we put these in. I like to go to the middle and just fill them up. So there we go, and there's our, our cover right there, and we have um, the beginnings, and we have our three notebooks. So there we go, guys. This is the first step in this tutorial, and I will be back later, and we will be doing um, some pockets for the inside, and a shaker card, and charms, and a page marker and all kinds of fun stuff so thanks for staying with me and i hope y'all um stay tuned for future videos in this series until next time guys bye